Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have new flashlight from Convoy. It's M21G with new XHP 70.3 LED. So here are some photos how it looks and I'll post link to the description where you can find it. Thanks for joining me today guys. I have new model from Convoy, it's M21G. And I already did review of the predecessor of this flashlight, it was M21CU. You'll find the review here in the corner, so you can check it out. So design is quite similar, at least the head part. Just this flashlight has longer tube. And the last one used XHP 70.2 LED, while this one has newer version, 70.3, and it's high intensity, meaning that it has no dome and throws for longer distance. And as I remember, the last one with XHP 70.2 had something between 25 and 2800 lumens while this one is 5000 lumens, so almost twice the power. This flashlight has longer tube because it uses two batteries, but don't get it wrong, it does not mean that runtimes are twice as long as the previous one, because that previous one used 3.7 volts and this one is two batteries, one then an hour, so it's above six volts. So the same ampere hours, but voltage is higher. And it does not have that turning off after lower voltage. So a big bonus and big plus for this flashlight. So here we have tail cap with the switch. The switch is to turn on the flashlight and turn it off. I'll talk about the switch later on. So here we have one battery, sorry, the spacer decided he wants to show first. Another battery, and also we can unscrew here near the head. And I'll show you the tube. So the tube is quite thick, with both sides with seal rings, the tail cap side is anodized while the front one is not and inside we have the spring so big plus because it does not lose contact and everything works fine on the head part we have side switch for changing modes and as you can see we have quite deep fence to dissipate heat and Temperature control on this flashlight is very, very nice. We have shining bezel inside LED with smooth reflector. And that's how the flashlight looks. Design is quite simple, but I don't care about it as long as it has good heat dissipation so one battery then goes the spacer another battery and tail cap threads are smooth but the only thing i would like simon to change is to add more grease to the threads so here we have the switch and I would like to talk about it because it's forward switch. That means that on other flashlights for the switch to work, you have to engage it and only then it starts working. On forward switches means that if you press and hold, 
it will start to work instantly and you can release it without fully engaging it. So the switch is quite comfortable. You have holes for attaching lanyard. I don't use it, so I don't care about it. And you have side switch to switch modes. I think it's the same switch from the older model. And also for X18A uses, I think, the same switch. It's some kind of rubber or silicon. So that's look of the flashlight. UI is quite simple. You press tail cap switch to turn it on and just use side switch to switch modes. One, two, three, four modes. It's 1%, 10%, 40% and 100. And also double press for strobe. So be careful who don't like those. Strobe is constant, nothing fancy here. Also it has mode memory, so if you change mode, turn it off and turn it again, it remembers the last mode. Yeah, so you can use it as a tactical flashlight. I call it tactical because it has forward switch. So you can even use Morse code with it, or you can just turn it on and hold it like this. So quite simple design, quite simple UI, but very nice flashlight with high output power. And that's it about the flashlight. I'll not talk much about it because it's quite simple. And today will be more nighttime shots with different lights in different, I would say, conditions in different places. So check it out and let's go to nighttime shots. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed those item shots. So today I'll try to explain shortly how to interpret those graphs. So on the bottom part we have the time the flashlight was tested and on the left side we have the maximum output on that mode in percent and how it changes during the time the flashlight is tested. So the third mode we have less time and on turbo we have step down in the beginning and then the flashlight is constantly having the same output. And here we have the three graphs where we see how they compare to each other. And in this slide we have the turbo runtime with lumens on the left, on the bottom we have the time, and those dips where you see zero lumens, it's cooling the flashlight in the fridge. So if you have any questions about those graphs, ask please in the comments. I hope you enjoyed watching my review, and I hope you enjoyed the item shots I prepared for you. So let's talk about the good and the bad of this flashlight. So first, the good. New XHP 70.3 LED with 5000 lumens. I think this is very great. Considering its size, I would not say it's a very big flashlight, just it's a long flashlight. Of course, you will not take it into your pocket. You just simply couldn't. <laughs> At least I don't have pockets <laughs> which will fit this. But it's not very big flashlight, not very heavy. So, another good thing that it's stabilized as most convoys. Stabilized brightness, I mean. And you can access almost the same turbo output while the battery just dies. And next thing is very good heat dissipation. And this flashlight never reached above 55 degrees as I remember in my tests and if you will use it in colder weather I think that you can even get turbo for like three minutes maybe more maybe more maybe four and what's also good that it steps down the first two minutes very slowly and then it goes to 40 percent yeah so that's the good now the bad. The bad is simple, very simple UI. You just turn it on, it has four modes and two clicks for throw. That's it. If Simon would like to listen to me, I would say that two click for strobe, we change for two clicks for turbo and another big minus I would say that this flashlight when the battery is very low and it's almost ready to turn off you have no warning and it just turns off and there is no possible not possible to check the battery voltage as previous models like 4x18a where you can five clicks as I remember to check the battery and here you just have nothing just four modes turn on turn off and throw so that's the bad things about it um another bad thing not a very bad thing but i think this this seal ring is a bit too thick and it's not very easy to screw on i don't know how it will do later but for now it's okay but that's a very small minus so that's it and my final thought is that this flashlight is very nice and probably from all the flashlights i have i own this is my most favorite flashlight for now because it's kind of mid range to throw a I would say if you change, I don't know if it's possible to get it, but if you change it to smooth reflector with this LED, maybe it will be like 500 meters, more like a fluid mid range. But as it is, I like it 5000 
lumens on two batteries quite compact body i like it the, also the price is very nice for it so guys that's it and thanks for joining me today don't forget to like that would help me a lot and subscribe and share for your friends if you have those who like flashlights that also will help to grow the channel and i hope that i'll be able to put reviews more often so that's it for today thanks for watching and see you next review goodbye